Bear's getting a special treat. We're getting new tyres today. If you followed us for a while, you'll know that we have been running the Cooper STT Pros for almost the entire six years we've been on the road. We are due for new tires. The Coopers that we've got on at the moment have probably got about 30% tread left. We have been big fans of the Cooper STT Pros. As we've traveled the world, they have performed excellent, but I always wondered why they weren't a popular tire here in Australia. And I had heard many people tell me that the tires weren't withstanding the Australian conditions. And I always thought, well, that's hard to believe, seen as though what we've done with them. When we arrived to Australia, we had, I would say they were almost new and they did not withstand the Australian conditions. They started chipping very quickly. They were wearing extremely fast, way faster than what we were used to. We met a lovely couple that we'd been in contact through social media with for a very long time, Vanden and his lovely wife, Evelyn. At the All British Day in Brisbane recently, we met them in person. And it just so happens that Vanden is a tyre specialist. And he runs the Bridgestone Tyre and Auto Centre here in Marumba Downs, just north of Brisbane. And he offered us a new set of tyres. So we accepted, we were ready for a change. We're gonna take that incredibly generous offer and we're gonna get some Bridgestone Jeweler MTs fitted to our bear today. Oh, you're gonna go, are you? Mate, thank you so much for everything. You must see this one. And you guys have a fantastic time on Fraser Island. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm the store manager here at Bridgestone Marumba Downs. Every tyre that you get has a lot of information on the sidewall of the tyre. I'd like to just get a little bit of a, a better understanding of, as to what some of it means. You have your tyre size, which is your three numbers slash two numbers, then an R and another two numbers. All of that is your tyre size. So it goes, the 265 is usually the width of your tyre. The next bit there is your sidewall height, which is a percentage of the width of your tire. And then the R is just means radial tire. And then the last bit is the size of your rim. This one has LT on it, which just means that it's a light truck construction tire. And you'll find that after the size of the tire, there'll be some more numbers. So it's got one, two, three, and one, two, zero. That means it's a light truck. It's got two load ratings. Most passenger cars, they would only have the one. The load rating is very important. We can't put anything lower than what the vehicle is stated. So if you've got like, say your car's load rated for 123, we can't put on a 100 load rated tire because then your vehicle won't be roadworthy. Sure. Yeah. We can go higher. 
definitely not lower. Just down here, you've got a series of numbers, tells you the week and year that the tire was made. So this tire in itself was made in the 31st week of this year. Do they have a lifespan? Five years. Five years. Five okay. years from this date. You might have a brand new tire, five years old, never been on the car. It's unsafe to put that tire on the car then. Wow. Because what happens is you know, you're dealing with rubber, so you've got a tire that's been sitting there for five years, completely cold, hasn't done anything. You go and drive it on the highway at speed, it's getting hot, it doesn't know what's happening, and that's how tires blow out. Any number on here that gives us a speed rating? There, it's not a number, it's okay. a letter. A letter, okay. Um, so P, yep. that's your speed rating on this particular tire. In Queensland, not really relevant because we're limited to 110 kilometers per hour anyway. We drive a Land Rover Defender, we're limited to about 70. <laughs> <laughs> what does the 673 mean? The 673 is the pattern of this tire. Ah, tread pattern. Yeah, okay. so you've got the Jeweler MT and Bridgestone full drive tires are all Jewelers and okay. then you've got your different models. So the all terrain is a 697, this mud one is a 673. been in the industry 20 years, I guess you've seen huge changes in technology, huh? I have. A balance of lightness with a um, screen, um, but you had to spin the tyre by hand. And I've used a bubble machine as well, so you put the wheel on a machine, yep. um, and you use weights and you use a little bubble to okay. balance it. Okay, just Uh, 130-135. We're just going to carry out a wheel alignment on the Defender. Uh, the importance of the wheel alignment is to ensure that the tyres fitted from you are tracking correctly. So just making sure that the toe, the tyres are straight, they're not pointed in or out. Cambers, you don't have any positive or negative cambers and then the tyres are going to wear out correctly and not prematurely. Thank you so Thank much, mate. You. Honestly, you've, uh, it's been unbelievable to watch you work. Oh, yeah. It's a very professional job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very smooth ride, mate. We can't thank you enough. The guys there at the center today that was and i'm not i'm not saying it just because you looked after us that was the most professional tire fitting job we've ever had done to our vehicle oh man i'm absolutely serious he spent a long time to get those tires perfectly balanced it's the least amount of metal we've ever had on the uh the rims to have them balanced before